Yo, what's good everybody? This is Zach Pop here with Solano College Sports Network. Got a very special guest with me, Solano pitcher Nick Driscoll. How's it going, man? Pretty good. Out here, getting the work in, practicing, getting ready for the season. So how excited are you? You're going to be one of the starters this year. Yeah. I'm what's it like going in? Uh, it's, it's pretty exciting knowing that last year I didn't do too well and just get, getting ready to get back on top again. What's the difference this year, though, coming in as a veteran? You're now a sophomore. Last year, you know, kind of getting used to jumping from high school to community college baseball. So what's the biggest thing you're taking away from last year heading into this season? Uh, just confidence. It's all about confidence. Um, That's the most important thing for a pitcher, too, yeah, right? Right. Um, uh, last year, I just had no confidence at all. And uh, I did pretty good over the summer and looking for a good year. And do you think that's the main reason why Stover elected to go with you as one of the starters this year? You pitched well during winter ball. Mm -hmm. And after last season, you think that's a huge boost for you guys? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. So Ryan Anderson had a great freshman season last year. What's he been like kind of being the sophomore guy helping you guys out? What's he done to kind of help all the other pitchers out on the staff? Well, he's just, he's just so good, I guess. <laughs> that's how you say it. I don't know. Everyone's just wanted to be like him just because he threw five CGs last year. Everyone's wants to go out and do just as good as him this year. So what was, I know Stover is a hard worker. Mm -hmm. How's it been just all these practices? And I, it's, Brian Anderson was telling us it's been a lot harder this off season than it was last year. Right. But um, what's been the hardest thing that he's put you guys through this off season? Uh, I would have to say the conditioning is a lot more this year. Um, what have you guys do for conditioning? Well, it's either we run 20 pulls or... 20 we, pulls, what's... So you start at one foul pole, you uh -huh. go to the next foul pole. Oh, wow. You go to the next foul pole, so that's two. So it's one, two, oh, three, wow. four. And you have to do that 10 times. <laughs> or, um, or we'll go to the track and we'll run miles. Wow. That's, that does not sound like fun at all. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> so this season, there wasn't a lot of pop in the offense last year. Who are a couple of guys you've noticed in practice that are going to bring in those extra base hits and maybe add some pop to the lineup this year? I know Speeny only played 16 games last year. Is he a guy that kind of to watch out for, hit some long balls this year? Yeah, Speeny is probably, he's probably one of the guys with the most power on the team, him and Crosby. And then uh, Zach Wells, of course, he's going to be our go-to guy when we need a base runner. All right, so we had some fun with Ryan and also Nick earlier. Super Bowl prediction. Give me your score. Niners 20, Ravens 28. Bam, you're going with the Ravens. Going yeah. with a little upset. Yeah. So I'm taking it you're not a Niners fan. Uh, oh, Who's your Oakland, team? Oakland Raiders. Whew, sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, once again, thanks, Nick Driscoll, for joining Thank us you. here. We're out, baby.